Hello crafters and artisans and welcome back to Psychedelic Squid 5 Arts. Today I'll be showing you how I changed out the leather pieces on my wheel so you can too. To start, you'll need new leather pieces, leather sewing needles, wax thread, and a lighter. If your leather is nailed in place, you'll need a drill and or dremel set, a pick set, a nail puller, needle nose pliers, new nails or screws, and a hammer or screwdriver. If the leather is held in place by wood dowels, you'll need a drill and or dremel, a punch set, and a hammer. If you need new dowels, you may also need new dowel material, a jeweler saw, and sandpaper. Here's a quick look at some of the items you might not be familiar with. To start, you'll want to remove the old leather. You'll want to do this with as little damage to the wood as possible. You may need to try to remove the nails from multiple different angles to get them out entirely. Here, you can see the two flyer maidens. The one on the left has been nailed in place, as has the one on the right. But the one on the right also has a wood dowel on the back that holds the leather in place. I'm going to need to drill that out to remove the leather. As for the one on the left, I'm going to drill out the nail and replace it with a wood dowel so I can change out the leather easier in the future. This is me drilling out the nail on the far maiden. I'm going to go through the head of the nail just enough to create a spot that I can hook with my pick set so I can pry the nail out. Here's a diagram that shows you what I'm doing. I'm going to hook the nail and pull it out enough so I can grab it with my needle nose pliers and pull it the rest of the way out. On the other side, you can see I drilled out the nail with a dremel so I can put a dowel in its place. If your leather is held in place, you'll want to use a punch set and a hammer to remove the wood dowels. Once you do, the leather should just pull straight out. Here are the two old leather pieces that I am replacing. Now, replacing the leather on the far side of the maiden, you can see this piece is shaped to fit through the wood maiden and then be held in place by a pointed wood dowel. You can see what the dowel looks like here. I'm just going to pressure fit it into place by hand, then follow up with a hammer to make sure the leather is secure. When I'm doing this, I'm going to push the leather as far back into the wood as I can so I don't accidentally push it out with the dowel that I'm trying to pressure fit in there. Once I do that, I'm going to use my jeweler saw to cut down the wood dowel so it's flat and then I'm going to follow up with some 220 grit sandpaper. And there you go, that side is finished. For the leather on the treadle, you'll want the new pieces to line up with the old holes. I'm using replacement screws here because it'll be easier to place in the future, but you can use nails if you're comfortable with that. I'm only going to tighten the screw down enough to hold the leather in place. I don't want to over tighten this as it can strip the wood or crack the wood. There you go. You'll have to repeat this for each leather strap on your pedal. If you have a leather footman connection that needs replacing like I do, You'll want to make sure the footman is as far down as it possibly can go before you tie the treadle to it. I like to tie mine about half inch off the ground so it doesn't hit the floor as you're treadling. You might want to tie it up a little bit higher if you're planning on spinning on carpet. Here, I have two leather needles on either end of the thread, so I can use a thread from either direction to sew my leather together. Each end of the leather has three holes on it, but I'm only going to be overlapping the center two so the leather ends are sewn down with the third hole. Here's my diagram for how I'm looping the thread through the leather to secure it. Once you've sewn it up, I use a simple knot, cut the end short, and then I melt the wax thread with my lighter. I also use the side of my lighter to flatten down the melted ends to make it nice and flush. And there you go, all new leather replacement pieces on your wheel. Thank you for exploring the depths of your creativity with me. Please let me know if you have any questions in the comments section below, and I'll see you next time. 